Hello and welcome to LoudPedal.TV's USAC Weekly Rewind. I'm Michael McIntyre. Last weekend, the four-man race for the 2016 USAC Midget title rode into town for its annual stop at Tri-City Speedway in Granite City, Illinois. With four men separated by just 30 points, the 3 8 mile dirt oval in Granite City, Illinois would prove to be a shot in the arm for some and lead to broken hearts for others. One would find newfound glory. Others would see their title hopes slip into the distance. Three nights, three races, four men seeking the ultimate reward of a season championship in a weekend full of racing that could play the role of decider. This is the Gold Crown Midget Nationals. Chad Boat shot out to the lead in the early part of Thursday night's feature with Brady Bacon just behind, but while running fourth on the sixth lap, Tanner Thorson got sideways and drifts into the infield. He was able to regain control of his car, kept the RPMs up, and motored his way through the infield kicking up a cloud of Southern Illinois soil into the sky as he rejoined the action after dropping to seventh. On the ensuing restart following a Brayton Lynch spin, Thorson went to work, getting back to fourth spot, as up front, Brady Bacon threw a successful slider on Chad Boat for the lead, entering turn one. With just six laps remaining, Bacon appeared to be headed for his first USAC National Midget win since the 2012 Hot 100 at Hobstadt, Indiana's Tri-State Speedway. But Bacon's day would not be today, as a cut right rear tire washed him up the racetrack and out of the lead as Thorson sped past. A dejected Bacon and crew would change the right rear tire and re-enter the race from the tail, where they would come away with a little bit of redemption after racing to a sixth place finish in the final six laps. The late race restart set up a rematch of last year's Saturday night gold crown showdown between Thorson and Tom. This time around would be the same as the last, as Thorson would once again hold the upper hand, pulling away on the restart to tame the 3 8 mile dirt oval, one and a half seconds in front of Dom and Carson Macedo. Thorson began the feature from the outside of the front row alongside Brady Bacon for night number two of the gold crown and immediately established the point as the field hit turn one on the opening lap. After encountering trouble one night prior, Bacon settled into second in the early going, running the high side as Thorson worked the bottom. But suddenly, on lap six, Heartbreak met Bacon for the second consecutive night as his mount began to slow dramatically, resulting in an early exit, a 20th place finish, and the loss of substantial ground in the title race. With Bacon now out of sight, no one was able to put much of a fight on Thorson for the remaining 30 laps as he stretched quickly his lead to three seconds by the 15th lap. The only obstacle separating Thorson from certain victory in the second half of the contest was lap traffic. But with a full straightaway lead, Thorson was in a zone and a back marker or two wasn't going to trip him up on this night. Thorson's clear path led to an eventual commanding 4.85 second victory, leading every lap on his way to setting a new Tri-City Speedway 35 lap track record for USAC Midgets with a time of 9 minutes and 24 seconds ahead of fellow championship contender Spencer Mason and Chad Boat. Thorson's role continued into the final night of the Gold Crown, where as high point man in the preliminary events, Thorson began Saturday night's 40-lap finale from the pole, and from the outset, he once again immediately established himself as the driver to beat, constructing a lead of more than a second and a half as title contenders Basin, Chad Boat, and Brady Bacon ran second, third, and fourth behind Thorson. But on lap nine, two of those contenders would see their nights take an unexpected turn for the worse. Entering turn one, Boat and Bacon got together, sending Bacon into a series of violent snap rolls into the catch fencing before coming to a rest on the track surface. Under the lengthy red flag for extensive fence repairs, Brady Bacon's FMR racing crew thrashed feverishly to make the repairs and miraculously had their car ready to join the field for the lap nine restart with Boat. With Bacon and Boat both out of contention at the front for the meantime, it became a two-car race between Thorson and Baston at the head of the pack. Thorson found a comfort zone at the top of turns one and two, and on the bottom of turns three and four with Baston in tow. The fiercest battle for position came for the race for second as Macedo hit the bottom of turn one before sliding up in front of Baston, but Baston was able to roll with the punches, answering each successive challenge that was thrown at him. With less than 10 laps remaining, Bradley out was a man on a mission, just laps after entering the top five from the back half of the field in Ken Malpacher's number 22. Battling with Alex Bright for fourth with eight laps to go, Loyette sailed into turn one, running out of racetrack and luck as he somersaulted nose to tail before coming to a rest on his wheels. Loyette would walk away. The ensuing restart presented another opportunity for Macedo to set up a slide job on Baston for second. This time was a success as Macedo blasted by his teammate in turn one. Baston once again crossed over, cutting beneath Macedo exiting turn two, then partaking in a side-by-side -side drag race into turn three that was won by Macedo. With just three laps to go, Thorson had victory just within his grasp, but the hard-charging Zach Dom, who was running fourth, tagged the outside wall, necessitating a yellow flag and setting up one final sprint to the finish with Macedo on Thorson's tail. 
As a scramble for position ensued back in the pack, Masita threw a haymaker at Thorson, taking over the top spot momentarily. But Thorson anticipated the move and crossed over, using the downhill momentum off the turn two backing to drive back by Masito for the lead. That proved to be Masito's last shot as Thorson was able to thwart the attack and pull away on the final lap and a half to defeat Masito by three quarters of a second to sweep the Gold Crown Midget Nationals for the second year in a row. Thorson's Tri-City Speedway domination proved to be historic. The 20-year-old Minden, Nevada native became just the second driver to win five USAC Midget races in a row at a single track. Only one driver has more, Rich Vogler on his run of six straight at Terre Haute from 1983 to 1986. Thorson also became the first driver to win three consecutive USAC Midget features since Kyle Larson did at the end of 2012 and at the beginning of 2013. Thorson led a Keith Coons curb Agajanian Motorsports sweep with teammates Carson Macedo and Spencer Basin rounding out the podium. Brady Bacon made a remarkable comeback, racing from the tail to grab fourth after nearly clearing the turn one fence earlier in the feature. Ryan Robinson rounded out the top five ahead of Holly Shelton, KSC hard charger Jake Newman, Alex Bright, Chad Boat, and Tyler Thomas. With just two races to go, Basin remains in the series point lead, though the gap has now shrunk to a mere nine points over the rapidly approaching Thorson. Boat is now 40 back, with Bacon falling 77 out of the lead. Top rookie Carson Macedo rounds out the top five. The midget racing continues, this time on the West Coast, in Tulare, California, as the USAC Western States Midgets made their lone appearance of the season at Thunder Bowl Raceway last Saturday night, where seventh starting Ronnie Gardner narrowly averted disaster, only making slight contact after getting collected in Shannon McQueen's tumble early in the feature. Gardner pitted for repairs, putting him at the tail for the restart where he proceeded to pick his way to second with just two to go. But under the red flag from McQueen's lap 29 flip, race leader Alex Shuddy pitted. That handed the lead over Gardner, who went unchallenged after the final restart, defeating Frankie Garini and Courtney Crone for his fifth win of the season and 18th all-time in the Western States Midget Series, tying him with Paige Jones for fifth all-time on the win list. Garner continues to break away from the pack in his quest for a fourth straight series title with a 108-point lead over Michael Facinto, who's followed by Frankie Garini, Corey Elliott, and Courtney Crone. This is Michael McIntyre, and on behalf of the United States Auto Club and LoudPedal.tv, Racer Max says thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time at the races.